Today, I am making the Chillis Beats possible with the Machine Mark III and Playbox. In this case, I'm paying for the subscription service. I'm still kind of evaluating it, seeing what I think of it. So far, though, I'm really enjoying it for spamming uh, random chord progressions and a bunch of random sounds to go with them rather than using presets. I think that's where it's at its most inspiring. I'm probably not going to talk a lot as I make these beats, but hopefully this is still entertaining. Let's get into it. Swagless. Absolutely no groove to be had. <laughs> All right, so we've got a basic starting point at least. So let's bring up a new group. Frisbee. <laughs> okay. Um. Woo hoo hoo. Okay, so maybe we do my new favorite trick, which is duplicate the whole thing. But now I'm going to randomize the samples again. Wah! Woo! Let's turn off uh, lo-fi. I want this to be warblier. So no, no tape. Yeah. Okay, also what I want to do while I'm here, at this point we should just call this the Gabe Miller. I didn't invent it by any stretch. I bit it from Kid Cudi's producers probably. But damn it, I like it. It's just nice, it's a vibe. We're onto something. Maybe this needs one more effect. So what if we do this? The fact that this kind of let me come up with a little top line as part of the chord progression, I think is part of the reason I got somewhere relatively quickly. Cause right now I just need bass. Woo. I'm starting to go, you know what? Maybe we need a melody, like a top line for this, like a top line for your top line. So you can top line while you top line. I'm just going to make sure that those notes butt up against each other. So here's an important question we must grapple with. What is our key? C sharp minor. So what I should be able to do is load in something. Set my scale to match the key as indicated in Playbeat. And then just see if we can do a little, a little top line melody thing. Woo! See, that's got some potential. probably have used up all my good ideas for the day, but we're going to start another beat from scratch because that went pretty well the first time and I'm pretty happy. <laughs> yeah, I need a little bu -bu -bu. That 
That clap just sounds like it, you're getting slapped in the face. Careful what you name your temporary file names, kids. You'll probably end up sticking with them because you can't think of anything better. Okay, we're beating this horse until it is flat. <laughs> All right, so now for what is quickly becoming the Gabe Miller classic. <laughs> so I want to emphasize our little synthy boy here, because he's a good boy. A little bit of Blade Runner in there. Okay, so we're going to do the thing. We're going to pull up our old buddy, our old pal, Tyrell. So G minor. We could do something with this. Okay, that is quite nice. Okay, this needs a bit more floatiness, I think. Okay, can Gabe Miller process a synth differently challenge? Impossible. I want just a little bit of grain delay. I'm sorry. I can't not. Oh, God. That's so good that we're going to do it a couple of times. <laughs> Just a little bit. Ooh. I actually kind of like that. So I want to sidechain this a bit. As beautiful and textury as it is, it's a little messy. If you'd like to see some more chill beats, you can check out this video over here. The thumbnail is a little more chaotic than the actual music. And if you'd like to see some actual chaotic music, you can check out this up over here where I make some neuro stuff from scratch. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll be back with a new video in a little bit.